Hi, drummers. Hope you well. Just a quick one about shuffles. Uh, I get asked this one question, loads and loads. I've made loads of videos about shuffles at this point. I'll link to them all below. Please check those out because I think quite a lot of the questions can be answered in those videos by watching those videos. But here we go. This is a question that comes up a lot. Shout out to Mr. Steve M121 who asked it today. Uh, so he says, they say, is there a difference notationally, feel-wise, if you play one and swung or one e and ah, uh, where you're playing the one and the ah? Uh. Uh, yes, there's a difference, uh, a huge difference. I would say the classic shuffle feel is based on swung eighth notes. So the swung one and they're describing there, which is of course based on a triplet feel. Let's recap again what a shuffle is, because I think people, it's interesting, even on the videos where I'm explaining this, people still ask what a shuffle is. So I'm just gonna repeat myself and try and be as clear as possible. Uh, if there are further questions, of course, let me know. The classic shuffle in its basic form is based on triplets, eighth note triplets. So if you think of eighth note triplets, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. The idea is three evenly spaced notes across each beat. The numbers that we're saying there are the quarter notes, the main pulse in the music, the crotchets. And then you've got one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. When we play a swung one and feel, as they're describing there, it sounds like this. One and two and three and four. And two, and three, and four, and if I take it right down to the hi hat, which is what's giving the, the the groove its feel, we've got one and two and three and four. And it's based on those triplets. You're playing the first and the third of each triplet, so the number and then the let, if you like, in the tr classic triplet count. One trip, let two trip, let three trip, let four trip, let one trip, let two trip, let three trip, let four trip. Let that is your classic swung eighth notes. They're often just counted as one and two and three and four and to make it easier to count rather than one, let two, let three, let four, um, or not counted at all, they just felt, but that's the that's the pulse. It's based on those triplets. One trip, let two trip, let three trip, let four trip, let one and two and three and four and. And that's what I would consider a classic shuffle. So the swung one and uh, that the viewer, Mr. Steve M121, is referring to there. Now the one E and a uh, feel would be this. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Uh. So yeah, it's a very different feel here. We're counting 16th notes, which aren't swung at all. Regular straight 16th notes or semi-quavers. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. In this case, they're four evenly spaced notes across one beat. Again, the numbers represent the quarter notes, but the E and a are the remaining 16th notes. So if we play the one and the R here, we're playing the first and the fourth note of, again, four evenly spaced hits across the beat. It's more angular. Uh, it doesn't have that same swinging lovely one and two and three and four and like that classic one potato, two potato feel that shuffles have. It doesn't have that. And the ah, uh, the point is that that's skipped note. The ah uh, is later than it would be in your classic swung uh, shuffle, swung one and feel. I'll play it one time again. Just the hi-hat. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So it's not that you would never play. That's not that it's wrong in any way. It's just not your classic shuffle feel. I'll just move between them now, playing full kit. Classic shuffle feel, the swung one and swung that uh, our man, Mr. Steve M is referring to. One. Swung eighth note and shuffle feel. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If I play now with a one E and a feel, you'd get this. Hopefully you can see and hear there and feel that it's, it's different. The R is later there. Now, 
these are the basic sort of versions of these. There is, I, I'm well aware of this, people might say this after watching this video, I'm well aware that you can, as you go further down the line with your swing feel, start to play around with the degree of swing. You can, you know, Elvin Jones described it as flirting with the, was it Elvin Jones? I think so, flirting with the time where you can move your skip note, your swung note to be a bit later or play around with it. That's all great. Not really talking about that here. I'm talking about the real clear difference between when you're basing your feel on triplets, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, and when you're basing it on 16th. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So it's an interesting question. I'm surprised how often it gets asked, but totally cool. Um, yes, there is a clear difference notationally and in feel between those, between those two things. Hope that makes sense. Thanks for watching as always. Cheers. So here's your triplet feel. You swung one end. Here's your sixteenth note feel. Thanks for watching. A three, a three.